name is Margaret Namawanda from Mulago Specialized Women and Neonatal Hospital. I'm going to talk about kangaroo mother care. Dr. Kibedi here will act as our mother and this will be our baby. Kangaroo mother care is recommended for preterms and low birth weight babies. It involves placing the baby skin to skin with the mother in her chest. And it has three components, warmth, feeding the baby, and early discharge from the health facility. When kangaroo mother care is practiced, it ensures that this baby maintains its normal body temperature because it's placed skin to skin with the mother, the mother is warming up this baby and thereby acting as a natural incubator. Since these two are always in contact with each other, the baby is placed skin to skin with the mother, the mother is always talking to her baby, a bond of love is created between these two. So the mother is less stressed, the baby is also less stressed. When the mother is relaxed, she's going to produce enough breast milk that the baby requires. And when the baby is also not stressed, their brain development is enhanced, they will breathe better because the respirations of the mother will stimulate this baby to breathe better, thereby reducing aponic attacks in this baby. And digestion is also taking place because the baby is less stressed. So the baby is going to be fed on time, like we shall demonstrate later, because um, the, the baby is in the mother's chest. The mother will just loosen the baby and feed the baby. And if they are feeding through the NG tube, they'll remain in their kangaroo position and the baby will be fed. So we won't be interrupting the KMC process. Since it is fed on time, it will gain weight adequately as it's required. The other benefit is it's cost effective because you're not going to need the expensive equipment like incubators to, to be able to warm up the baby. All we need is the mother's chest. The other benefit is um, because of minimal handling of this baby and the early discharge from the hospital, we, the baby will be free of infection. We will not acquire the nosocomial infection as frequent as when the baby stays in the hospital longer than the one that is in kangaroo mother care. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to place the baby in kangaroo mother care. When we are going to place the baby in the kangaroo mother care position, we need a wrapper. We shall need we shall need the mother and the baby, and the baby will need a cap. It will need a diaper and some socks if they are available. So, as you're lifting up the baby from the bed, ensure that you support the head and the bottom, and then. The mother is supposed to undress. She should not be in a hospital gown, but for demonstration purposes, we shall keep the gown. So, in a real sense, you will remove the mother's clothes, including the bra, because it's supposed to be skin to skin. Okay, so the baby is placed skin to skin with the mother. Okay, and uh, the baby's hands are put above the breast. The legs are put in a frog-like position, like that, just below the mother's breast. The baby's head will be turned to the side, okay? And we put an extra cloth. Ensure the baby has a cap, a diaper, and socks. If the socks are not available, it is okay. We can go with that too. And we put an extra cloth to provide more warmth. So, Remember we said we also need a kangaroo wrapper, something that looks like this, very easy to be to make on the local market. And uh, so we are going to place this on the baby. Ensure the baby's head is turned to the side, okay? And the, this cloth should just go towards the baby's ear to prevent the baby's neck from falling. Okay, so mama, can you please stand? The size of this can be adjusted according to the, to the size of the mother. You can fold it and then you're going to make a knot at the mother's back like this. You make a knot that is comfortable for the mother. Okay, and then you cross it over into 
the front and you make another knot just below the baby's legs, the bottom. So the other straps are going to be crossed over to the back. Mama, can you please turn around? So you cross over this strap from this side to here and then this strap is going to be crossed over to the other side. Okay. Turn around. So we are going to make a knot at the side here. Just comfortable enough for the for the mother to be able to to untie when she's going to feed her baby okay and then you make another knot here mama are you comfortable yes. can you move the hands Okay, try to move around. So the mother is able to move around and do some simple chores, like trying to prepare the milk for the baby. And she can move her hands freely. Okay. And so when we are done with this, remember, now our mother is bare-chested. We need to, you can get a wrapper that she can wrap around herself like that. Okay, or she can put on a loose fitting shirt or she can put on her dress on top of the baby. Then they can move around. When we are in the hospital, we have what we call a kangaroo mother care chair. So this is a kangaroo chair where the mother will sit and relax. Okay, she can even lay back like you can see. And she keeps talking to her baby. So the two are warm. When we are in the health facility, we can start off the baby on what we call intermittent kangaroo mother care, where the mother will have her baby placed skin to skin in her chest with her for about two hours or above, uninterrupted. And about two hours, she can keep on increases the hours as she feels comfortable. Later on, we can move to what we call continuous KMC. WHO recommends 8 to 24 hours in a day. So our target is about 13 hours. If she can do 13 hours in a day, only to be interrupted for the mother to go and use the washroom. Okay, so preparation of the breast milk and all the other feeds can be done when the mother has her baby in her chest. So this method can also be used to transport babies. When we are transporting a baby, let's say from one facility to another, this, this method can be used. You move the baby in the mother's chest to the place that you want them to, to be. And it is recommended that we start kangaroo mother care as soon as possible. We can also, in this position, we can just loosen the straps. Remember the side straps, we loosen them. Can we loosen this? Just loosen them a bit so that the mother. Okay. Is able to turn the baby to the side and breastfeed her baby. Okay. So if the baby is feeding via an NG tube, the baby will be kept in there kangaroo position and the mother remember the mother's hands are free so she's able to prepare the milk and feed her baby as required and then afterwards she will strap the baby back okay. and cover her baby again so kangaroo mother care is recommended for to be started as soon as possible and we can do what we call intermittent kangaroo mother care when the mother and the baby are still in the health facility whereby they, she can place her baby skin to skin with her for about two hours and above uninterrupted. So she can do as many hours and keep on increasing them. 
Then later on we can move her to what we call continuous kangaroo mother care, whereby she will be doing about 8 to 24 hours as WHO recommends, but our target is about 13 hours in a day, only to be interrupted when the mother wants to use the washroom or she's, she's going to do something that involves her bending. Kangaroo mother care can also be done by someone else like the father or someone else like the grandmother, another relative to assist the mother when she needs to do other things around the house. It can also be continued from the first health facility to home. However, we can use the same method to transport the baby from one facility to another facility when the baby is in the mother's chest for warmth. Thank you so much.